Just gave her a bath. I washed all the dust off the bed. That's all it was. Everybody's like, oh, you painted your bed all red. Yeah, it was it's literally like dust. Probably from sanding and stuff, I would imagine. What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. We are down to just hardly 48 hours left of the ultimate 12 out of giveaway. Every $15 you spend on the merch site is another entry to win, and every single order gets cash back until the last minute of the giveaway, which is Sunday, September 30th, 2018 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the last day to enter, and then it's gone. You could be picking this truck, the five-speed manual version or the five-speed manual dually, which we're also gonna be picking up today. Hopefully, that's what we're gonna be doing today. That's what it sounds like we're gonna be doing, so hopefully we can make that happen. Not sure about this video, because it might be later in the afternoon pretty late in the afternoon, but um, that is at least the goal. So we're gonna try to get that truck picked up. It's been a few minutes since we've been in all nasty red. goodness I think those boots that we had on there for the pusher system that came with it Jacob replaced those because he said they were both like cracked and just kind of like just crappy and this thing now they must have been just leaking enough to where you it was like a little bit of a lag of power but not like crazy because just the bottom of the boots were like cracked and split up and stuff but they weren't rubbing on anything nothing they were just like dry rotted and they were brand new but um Anyways, he got new boots on here and this thing flies, oh my gosh. Like this thing spools up so nice and just pulls. Holy crow. Not to mention with the new transmission build in there. Um, yeah, that thing rips. The dually's back. And dad's back and he hasn't he hasn't driven nasty red since we got the transmission done or seen it. Yo, dude, what's up? There, I haven't driven the dually since he said he retuned a few things on it. I haven't driven nasty red since eight weeks. <laughs> Some crazy like that. I think it not only looks, of course, a ton better, but to be honest with you, I want to see how it drives. Yeah. Because I've never got a chance to see the power since the tranny was done. <laughs> it's great. Which means I've never got a chance to experience the power since the compound turbo injectors and everything else has been done either. Yeah. Only minimal, so I'm super excited We're gonna about have to that. drive it. And then I also need to, probably not today's video because we got a lot of stuff to do, but we also need to do a rip in the dually because upgraded dual disc clutch, fifth gear upgrade. And um, he it did some, nice. he tuned a few things on the engines that it, he said it runs perfect. Mud. I know, I just cleaned it and then I, t <laughs> I took it to, you know, the shop, and of course, there's mud puddles all over the place, and these wide wheels aren't gonna keep anything clean. Maximum overdrive caps on, cause- They gave me one too. Yeah, cause we're reviewing the transmission work there, and uh, for him, just like an overall drive. <laughs> We've hardly had any videos of you driving this at all. Yeah, I'm excited. It's a huge difference, it's crazy. So I haven't drove it since it had extensions underneath the hood. The front end redone, the tranny done.
<laughs> it gets a little That got up to 70 like nothing. And it still has so much more. Oh, it's crazy. As I said, it gets a little it gets a little squirrely with those 12 wides. Wow. I need some steering stabilizers on it. Yeah. That's what it needs. I don't I didn't even jump on it really. Now go down the other road, right? To the right. <coughs> So you have a nice flat straight stretch. It's kind of weird looking out to a nice not heifer looking hood. Yeah. And guess what guys, you guys could win this truck for as little as $15. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, those shift points are awesome. Listen to a scream. got back from driving Nasty Red because I haven't driven this thing since I think we put the compound system in Malika was that back in March January February no yeah I mean February it, to March area ish March -ish. I think Feb yeah. I think February it was in March because I had that conference it was right when we were going to buy a big stinky remember you were out here all night mm -hmm. that's right yep. so anyway regardless of when it was uh, although it was March 23rd I just kind of happened to remember that kind of <laughs> stuff but um what we got here was this thing I have not driven it since we put the compound system in to its potential and honestly I still haven't just because being that this is in the giveaway I don't want to abuse the thing and then have something break um, because of being stupid I, I try not to be stupid with that but what we have here is we have we put 120 horse injectors had the head studs valve springs push rods everything done underneath you know in here we put um, head the pusher, studs, governor springs valve springs valve springs lash work was done valve lash was done and then we had the um, mega twin from pusher here i don't advise you ever hang up on your wife when she's calling you but we're gonna say this is a good reason and then we put a uh, pusher compound system in because i've always wanted a compound system particularly when it comes to these 12 valves and so we put it in and i will say that you know i didn't open it up down the road and we just went down there but um one thing about this thing is, is that once you hit 60 uh, miles per hour, first off, the transmission is awesome. The shift points, the when it goes, it's They're just, snug. it's so right on, which I love, I absolutely love it. And then, but the, um, once you hit 60 on this thing, it's almost like you just unleashed a beast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's super it's cool because wide open, like it's just, yeah, like it, it almost like, I, I don't put it down all the way because there's other cars, it's a country road, and you can just feel like it just, it wants to go. I was like cracking on him. I was like, as soon as it opens up, he lets off. As I let soon off, as it hits yeah. 65, he lets off. No, I'm I, like, yeah, I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to <laughs> mess with it, but nonetheless, that's one thing. I think overall, these aren't, these aren't perfect trucks, right? I mean, they're 26 years old, um, give or take, but you know, it's, it's a beast. It's, it's made for, for pulling stuff. It's got some power, it's got some speed. And honestly, I love the flatbed part of this too. I love the dually as well. And this is honestly like a, just a solid practical farm truck, like yeah. a daily drivable farm truck. Yeah, and it's you know kind of I mean? got stupid money put into it, truthfully. But <laughs> I was telling him, how's it feel to be 50-50 partners on this thing right now? <laughs> right, all right. Like 15, 17 grand each. Yeah, did you explain to him the deal that we made on this? Yeah, kind of. Some yeah. of them don't understand still, but... So, here's... here's. Do you want me to go over it? Just yeah, go over okay. it. <laughs> so Matt They might I, feel guilty picking it. Right, <laughs> right. But, okay, so we built this truck because I wanted a farm truck. Something I could just... I can throw stuff on the back or hook a trailer up and whatnot. Just so, enough to pull something. Yeah. Right, just a little bit of something here and there down the road. But, um, so Malachi approached me and he said, Hey, listen, Dad. He's like, people love Nasty Red. Can I buy it off of you and put it in the next giveaway? Because I want to make sure I give them something that they would really value, something they would appreciate. And since so many people rave about Nasty Red, I would love to be able to give that truck to you know to a sub. And I said, you know what? I totally get that, man. I like, uh, and so I said, why don't we do this? And I threw out a, a kind of a curveball to him. I said, if you buy Nasty Red off me for what I have into it right now, which at the time was seventeen thousand dollars. I said, you're still gonna have X amount of dollars to put into it to get it to where it needs to be. You know, whether it's the paint, the front end was rebuilt, the brakes, um, the transmission. So there's some money. I said, so why don't we do this? I'm like, you have three trucks that you want to give away. Rather than you pay me for, you know, the value of what I put into this truck plus build onto it, why don't we just kind of roll the dice a little bit? And instead, I'll put up the truck and then you just finish the build. And then by the time he finished the build, we would both have the same amount into it. So the gamble is this, 
if somebody chooses this, which honestly, I'm okay with it because I mean, this is, yeah, I mean, it's all about you guys anyway, but if somebody chooses this, he gives me what I have into the truck. If somebody doesn't choose it, our deal was, then I get to keep a built truck. So he ends up putting less money into it than he would ordinarily. And if somebody Because chooses, otherwise I just have 30 grand in a truck and then I'd have to sell it And then he has to sell it else. and he can't get it out anyway. <laughs> so I was trying to think of a way that, you know, Malachi has done everything he has on his own for his for the channel. He's bought his trucks, he's done the work and whatever else. And for anything in my trucks, I've paid for with the exception of what he did to finish this particular build. So to me, it felt like a good deal. And then he, when he started thinking about the math on that too, because, um, you know, it's just, it makes Everything sense. adds up so quick. It, it makes sense for both of us. And so if somebody picks this thing, then God bless you. You know, I, I hope you really enjoy it. Um, and if you don't, then... Second. There's two other no. ones. <laughs> <laughs> There's two others, yeah. So either way, it works out perfect. And I'd be happy with it. He'd be happy with it. And I know his sub would be happy with it as well. So um, if you choose it, my heart's not broken. I mean, it is a little bit just because I, I love this truck. But nonetheless, we could always do it again if we want to or do whatever. So it doesn't bother me a bit. It's a truck. You can it's a truck. One. Yeah, it's a truck. Oh, Truthfully, yeah. with so many trucks, we can't drive them all at the same time anyway. So I was not saying I said insurance is becoming a mortgage payment. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Like, like Seriously. majorly. No, but this thing's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I like the stance on it when you look at it from the front. Like that's oh, yeah. one of my favorite things on this. Um, one of these days I either have to I'll probably get rid of the white one, the white seven three here. But realistically what that thing needs is it needs a stance on it. It's needed that for years. Just haven't got to it yet. I've had a lot of people ask us, you know, new subscribers, we call them family members growing every single day. And uh, I've had a lot of people ask, you know, like, what truck have you actually built? And I'm like, have you ever done a compound truck? And I'm like, yeah, this is actually one of the trucks you guys could be winning, actually. Um, it's a stock HX35 over a Board Warner S475. So it moves. There's a lot of, I mean, this is a, this is the truth of the matter is you're getting what you're getting. And so if you choose this, it is what it is, but we've done it to where we wanted to. And honestly, there's still some things you could do to it yet too. I mean, so it's a good yeah. truck as is, or if you want to keep doing a little bit here and there, man, I mean, that's cool. It gives you something to do as well. I don't know what I would choose truthfully. I don't know. I'm driving ready. that Dooley today too. Like I like this thing a lot, um, but driving that Dooley today, now that it's got the transmission built in that thing, in that thing too, it's, and the, I haven't driven that either since you put the new armrest in there. So your, That's your elbow nice. doesn't fit into that little cradle where it's ripping your arm. Oh my up, goodness. But. There's like sharp edges and plastic yeah. crap down in there. So that was actually pretty nice. Cup holders. Cup holders. I had a Cup Starbucks holders. in the side. Yeah. I had my phone just sitting across mm -hmm. there. Yep. I had some South Bend clutch stickers on you there. You know what? Side, I test so. drove a Laramie and guess what it didn't have? Don't even tell me. Cup holders. No. Yes, unless you, they, they only had the flip out ones, but it had the front bench with a flat leather thing with no cup holders on the armrest. Maybe that's how they get away with no drink and drive, so to speak. <laughs> no, that's how they get you to buy the Longhorn oh, there with you go. 10 cup holders. No drink and drive, it's just a coffee. Yeah, I mean, one thing that, um, that when I was watching, I was out of town, so I was watching a video just like you guys the other day on getting this thing back, and the one thing with the lighting, the way that it was, is it looked like there was almost like red panel of the bed and, I, and I'm like, what the flip? He color matched the bed. <laughs> he color matched the bed, I want that black. But anyway, what it, it just basically, it, it wasn't like that. It was, it was just, like sanding dust. Yeah, sanding dust, no big deal. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, just, it's clean. There's nothing on it. It's it's still a black bed and our water is super spotty. Yeah, water pretty much sucks. Water, water pretty much ruins stuff around here. I did like also the rockers. Obviously, this side was always good you know, for the most part, but the other side, like having Jake rip out those rockers and put those firm ones in there, makes a world of difference. Because they were gone in half the door. They were gone, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and Dad's reaction and his kind of input on the truck, his review, the transmission, awesome. Give those guys a call if you need some transmission work done. Here's and their- Thanks for the hat if you happen to be watching this. Yes, um, great, great transmission people down there and um, just great people. 12 valve giveaway. We're down to like what a couple days? 40, 48 hours. Yeah. That's it. 48 hours and this thing's done. It's the gone. The reality is. I guys... told him we're probably never going to do another 12 valve giveaway like this with three 12 valves. Might not ever happen again on here, honestly. It's kind of a crazy thing. I mean, because it's what, $15 per entry? That's a keychain and a wristband. A keychain and a wristband. You could get away with a keychain and a wristband and drive away with a truck that we've put in 
Too much. Stupid. Too much. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Too much. But I'll tell you what. It's a good. It's a good trade. It's not a good trade, <laughs> but it's worth it for you, just because. Uh, yeah, I know it means a lot to Malachi and what he's doing with this channel. Remember guys, every $15 is another entry to win and every single order gets cash back until the last minute of this giveaway. So every order that was placed from the 25th until September 30th, 2018 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time gets cash back. Doesn't matter how much you spend, but keep in mind every $15 you spend gets another entry to win the truck and that is the main objective so, here. Sunday night, 11.59. Sunday night. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's gone. And um, and then somebody like uh, what was the last gentleman's name? <laughs> Johnny, 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 <laughs> so, Johnny. So you know, I'll tell you when we. That was really bad. I've never <laughs> forgot his name until just now when he asked. I'm thinking, right. who is he talking about? Right. Okay. But that was a that was a blessing. That was just really cool to drop it off in. Uh, and for him to be able to just get that truck and, and meet his family and so forth. And depends where you're at and which truck you choose. That may may or may not happen, but nonetheless, I mean, it's pretty cool. So get out your wallet, save money. Don't buy it on, don't spend it on like coffees and crap like that. Spend it on t-shirts and get an entry to win a truck. Who did I hear it from? I don't know who I, did I hear enough? I don't know if I heard it from Gary Vandershock or Grant Cardone, but anyways. America Great Again? No, 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 no. That. Oh, I was telling you that. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. a money camp by happiness. And they said, that's only true if you haven't given enough away. You know, it's talking about not just money, but things and items and just blessing people, something that you've been blessed with. You know what I mean? Just taking care of people who have been taking care of you. Yeah, if um, nothing else then, I mean, if you think about that, maybe you want a truck and maybe you're not in the trucks. Who cares? You probably are. If you're get watching in, this, you in, probably are. Get in and give it to somebody else. No sweat you, off our backs. Give it to somebody else or if you need the money, you have to have the money, you can, you can always sell it. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's your choice. It's your truck. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. We're not going to make this video much longer. But anyways, guys, link in description. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.